There are many teachers already doing great work and I just want to take the time to thank them and to big them up for the magic that they're creating in their classrooms. We can all get better at our practice and put in the anti-racist and equity lenses to our work to ensure that we do no harm. Good instruction should be student-centered and student-centered is being culturally responsive and being anti-racist. And so for the teachers, uh, one way to get better is really to start with self. Really check in with yourself. What are my biases? How are we being self-aware? So, you know, if I'm a teacher or curriculum developer, let's check this for an anti-racist lens. Let's check this for a culturally responsive lens. Now let's do the research and ask people what they mean and really be deliberate about that self-awareness so that we're not imposing our values. We have to be mindful of our power and not abusing it. Another thing that I would say is the collective work. Get together with your crew and learn together. And that learning can happen through book clubs, it could be looking at videos and going to talks or sitting through online Zoom um, conversations. There's so many ways that we can learn, but it doesn't just stop at reading or watching. It's talking about now that we know how will we do better? So coming up with a plan to do more with each other and to hold each other accountable. I also have people think about what's their curricula look like? Is what I'm teaching uh, representative of my students? Am I affirming my students in what I teach and how I teach? Am I affirming my students um, when I interact with them? So really asking those questions of self and of our practice so that we ensure that our students are safe. I would also push educators to really think about the larger context. Where are students coming from? What are their stories? How can I learn their stories? What's my plan to get to know the stories of my students, of their families? And I think we need to really start asking our students and our communities what they need. I think too often we go up in communities, we go into our classrooms and we think we know what people need. If we don't ask them what they need, we're not giving them what they need. And so we constantly have to ask the people that we are in partnership with how we can do better and how to learn uh, together.